Grace and peace to you, Christ Community family, as we come together on this first week of April, on this holy week, uh, for our Wednesday's Word, our midweek devotionals. I pray that you're healthy and well. Let me read to us from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, uh, before I share some reflections. After this, knowing that all was now finished, said uh, Jesus said to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. A jar full of sour wine stood there, so they put a sponge full of the sour wine on a hyssop branch and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Amen. What happens when you accomplish a goal or a task? Oftentimes you feel victorious because you won. It's done. It's complete. But when you don't finish a specific goal or task at hand and it just hangs over your head, it doesn't feel complete. There was this one time where, when I went to get an oil change for our car at a local place that I'm a regular at, uh, but I didn't have enough cash. It, it, you know, I wasn't planning on having enough cash because I thought I had it, but I didn't. Because nowadays cards, you know, credit cards charge all these extra fees. I wanted to pay with cash. So I told the manager, you know, let me go get cash and I'll come back. But the manager told me, Pastor, don't worry about it. You're a regular anyways. Now I hate debt. I hate owing people money. And owing $10 uh, was just, it was hanging over my head and I hated it so much. But the manager kept telling me, it's, it's done, it's complete. He gave me the receipt and on it he wrote, paid in full. The $10 debt was paid in full. It was done. It was complete. You see, when Jesus was on the cross and he said the words, it is finished. He didn't say the words, I am finished. Jesus wasn't making it about himself. He wasn't making it about what he wanted or about what he was saying or doing. Jesus was talking about the task at hand, the mission. The mission was complete. In the biblical Greek, the word used here is to telestai. And now it can mean it is finished. But historically, papyri, uh, uh, papyrus receipts for, for taxes from back in those days that have been recovered historically had the words to tell us that I written across them, meaning paid in full. Paid in full. You see, Jesus the conqueror had completed a tremendous labor and, de and death was defeated. It was done. It was complete. But when you hear the words, it is finished, you should never think about it in a way that Jesus was finished. It meant that his redemptive work was complete. More importantly, Jesus paid our debt in full. He had been made sin for the people. He has suffered the penalty of God's justice, which we deserve to tell us die, paid in full. It is finished. The law was abolished. Grace abounds. Jesus Christ reigns. It is finished to tell us die. We were bought out and it was paid in full. Our debts are no longer. Our sin is no longer. As we go through this Holy Week, this Passion Week, I hope and pray that when you reflect on the cross, you don't just reflect on the work that was complete. You don't just work on the sacrifice that was done, but I charge you and encourage you to reflect on the debt. The debt that was paid in full to Telestai. Paid in full. I hope to see you at our Good Friday service in person or online at 7 o'clock p.m. Or our sunrise service or our resurrection celebration worship on Sunday. I hope you have a blessed week. God bless.